Okay, here's our question today. So our question today is a titration, and it's not a one-to-one -one titration anymore. So in this question, the text says, 50 milliliters of sodium hydroxide solution, which has a concentration of 0 0.36 molar, is titrated against trimolytic acid, and 20.41 milliliters are required to reach the endpoint. So, what is the concentration of the trimolytic acid solution? So to solve this, we solve it the same way we solve every titration. To find out the grid, we know that there's a standard. We know that there's an analyte. We start off with the concentration, which is going to be in molar. We have a volume, which has to be in liters. And we have a number of moles, or an amount. We'll just put that in as moles. So what do we know? Well, we know our standard is a sodium hydroxide because we're given the concentration of that. And we're told the concentration is 0 0.36 moles per liter. And we're told that that required, uh, or that we used 50 milliliters of that. So we want to convert our milliliters into liters. That will be 0 0.050 liters. What else are we told in the question? We're also told that uh, it required 20.41 milliliters of our trimolytic acid solution to react to get to the end point, which is 0 0.02041 liters. So now we have all we know set into the grid. The other thing that we need to know is what is the reaction ratio? So, how many react with how many? Well, we're told in the question that three sodium hydroxides react with one uh, trimolytic acid, which is C9H6O6, to give us three molecules of water and one molecule of uh, trisodium melitate. So C9H3O6Na3. So that's our equation. Three of these react with one of these to give you three of these and one of those. So for every three sodium hydroxide you put in, you put in one trimolytic acid. So let's try and solve out our equation then. This is in the question all we have left to do is fill in the grid. So we know our concentration multiplied by our volume will give us our number of moles. So our concentration is 0 0.36 moles per liter multiplied by 0 0.05 liters is equal to 0 0.018 moles. So we know how many moles of standard it took. It took 0.018 moles. And we know for every three moles of standard we put in, we had one mole of analyte. So let's work out how much analyte we had. Well, it's going to be this number divided by three. So 0.018 moles divided by three, because it's three of these for every one of these. So divide the number of sodium hydroxides our standard is our sodium hydroxide, divide that by 3 and we get 0 0.006 moles. Now we have a number of moles. We know that our titration, this took 20.41 milliliters or 0 0.02041 liters. So divide our number of moles by our number of liters and we'll get our concentration back again. So our number of moles is 0 0.006 moles divided by 0 0.02041 liters is going to give us a concentration of 0 0.293 moles per liter. Okay, that's our concentration done. So our final answer is 0 0.293 moles per liter.
I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, post them below, post them on the forum, ask in the lab. That's all for now.